Hi guys, it's Mrs. V. Good to see you. Today I'm going to show you about a bunch of different percussion instruments. Um, what you just heard is called the vibraphone. We're going to come back to that. But first, I want to introduce you to somebody who's actually a professional percussion player. <laughs> this is Brandon Dodge. Uh, he's a professional percussionist and he's going to show us all about these different kinds of instruments. Here we go. Drums. <laughs> Okay, so that's the drum set. You guys have heard that instrument before. Um, Brandon Dodge plays the drum set, of course, but if you kind of sneak behind us, you can see there's a bunch of other instruments that we want to show you today. So I'm going to let him take it over, and he's going to show you all the instruments we have in the room with us today. So here's the first one. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the timbre. So the timbre, they're based in Europe. That's where they came from, for the most part. And they kind of sound like this. Here are some toys that us percussionists get to use. We don't mean toys as in like things you play with. We talk about toys because they're small. So we're going to start off with the good old castanets. Castanets, they came from Spain. They sound a little like this. It's very fun to play. Next up, we have the clave. The clave, they came from Cuba, and they sound kind of like this. It's very loud. Next up, we have the kashishi. These are baskets, and they came from Brazil. Next up, we have the cabasa. came from South America. It sounds a little like this. And lastly, we can't forget the vibraslack. Now, this is originally African, but later on has been changed throughout the years to be used in band and orchestra like what we have in America. Next up, we have the Taiko drum. Now these guys came from Japan. They're very fun to play, require a whole lot of energy, and sometimes we actually shout and yell with it. So, now we have the vibraphone. This is kind of like an orf instrument, except there's way more bars, the bars don't come off, and it has these things called resonators that help make the sound even bigger and louder. This is kind of what it sounds like. Now, sometimes you can play these with four mouths. Now, sometimes, very rarely, Six. Now, when we use six, it's a little bit weird to get into it at first. See how it takes so much time for me to do this? But it's so worth it. Well, hey, thanks for showing us all those percussion instruments. Super cool to see all of them. No, no problem. Um, I know that the kids at home are going to have some questions. So I wanted to ask you a couple quick things, if that's okay. Right. Um, first of all, how long have you been playing percussion? So I have been playing percussion for 15 years now. Is it hard to learn percussion? Uh, it wasn't super hard at the very beginning, and then I had to learn how to play it right, and that took a lot of time, but it's well worth it. We saw a lot of instruments today. Did we see all of the percussion instruments? Oh no, there are thousands of these. <laughs> Thousands? So many that we can't even keep track of how many there are. Wow. Do you have to learn all of those to be a professional percussionist? Thankfully, we don't. Thankfully, we only have to learn most of them. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, and then, of course, the burning question. What is your favorite percussion instrument? Ooh, that's really tough. Um, 
I would have to say it's either the drum set or the vibraphone right now. It's really tough between those two. I think my favorite is probably timpani. I like loud drums. Yes, they're fun. <laughs> they're very fun. Um, well, thanks again for showing us all these cool instruments. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of them and hearing all of them. For those of you that could watch, thank you for doing that. Um, I'm really hoping to get you a brass video soon. That should be coming out hopefully next week. We'll see. Uh, in the meantime, thanks again to Brandon Dodge for doing this video with us. And I do have one small thing left. Do you remember how I showed you Jessica Dodge and she played the saxophone and she's my sister? Well, Brandon Dodge is actually my brother. I know. Um, and that's how we were able to do this video together even though things are kind of weird and we're not really going too many places. So this is Brandon Dodge's studio. Um, he's a professional percussionist and if you want to check him out, he has a YouTube channel. It's called B, the letter B, the drum. Um, again, that's B, the drum, and you are more than welcome to check him out, listen to his stuff. He posts quite a bit, so B, the drum on YouTube if you want to check out Brandon. If you like percussion, super cool, and keep your eyes and ears open for the brass video. Bye, guys. Bye.